Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Few days back, I asked your problem statement and it was related to pipelining in digital design. Few of you were able to answer it and few of you were not able to answer it and they are asking me to explain it. So in this video, I am going to give you the solution of that problem statement only. Now without wasting much time, let us get started and see the solution of the challenge that I asked. Friends, before giving you the solution, let us try to understand the problem statement again. Friends, on your screen, you are seeing a pipeline system. I have a digital system where I am using a pipelining so that I can increase the system performance. And in this pipeline, I have four modules. The first one is task feeder module, which feeds tasks to module one. And module two is dependent on module one's output. Similarly, module three is dependent on module two output and module 3 gives final output. Just to speed up the things and to improve the performance of the overall system, I am taking feedback from module 1. Whenever module 1 does its task, it gives feedback to task feeder module and it can assign a new task to module 1. And the task completed by module 1 is fed to module 2 and task completed by module 2 is fed to module 3 and then we get the final output. Now the question here is, is this pipeline a valid pipeline or do you see any problem? If you see any problem in this pipeline, then how will you resolve that problem? Friends, first of all, let us try to understand whether this pipeline is a valid pipeline or no. Let me give you my view on it. As per my understanding, this pipeline is not a valid pipeline. Now let me explain why. Module 1 is taking 5 clock cycles. Module 2 is taking 6 clock cycles. After every 5th clock cycle, Module 1 is giving acknowledgement to the task feeder module. So, a task feeder module is feeding a new task after every 5 clock cycles. Module 2 is taking 6 clock cycles to complete every task. But, Module 1 is feeding a new task to Module 2 after every 5th clock cycle. So, Module 2 cannot handle task coming to it after every fifth clock cycle because its own delay is six clock cycles. Let me explain it in a layman's terms. Just assume that this pipeline is a car assembly pipeline and just assume that module one is a labor one and module two is a labor two. And instead of five clock cycles, just assume that labor one is taking five hours to complete one task and then it is giving the input to the labor two which is taking six hours to complete each task. Now, when first task is fed to module 1, it will take 5 hours to feed to the module 2. It is fine. Then module 2 will start working on the task. And we know that it takes 6 hours to complete it. But after next 5 hours, module 1 will again feed the new task. But labor 2 has not completed the previous one. It cannot handle that much load, right? We are feeding again and again the new task after every five hours so this pipeline will crash friends you can share your own views in a comment section are you in agreement with me or no if you are in agreement with me then let me tell you the remedy of it as per my understanding friends as per my understanding one of the possible remedy is if we take acknowledgement of module 2 instead of taking acknowledgement from module 1 and feed it to task feeder module. It should resolve our problem. But the disadvantage is the task feeder module will get acknowledgement after every 11th clock cycle. So then only it can feed new task to module 1. So that means task feeder module will feed a new task after every 11th clock cycle, which will make our pipeline a little bit inefficient, but it will resolve our problem. Our pipeline will not be crashed. But friends, no one wants to use a pipeline in an inefficient way because the purpose of the pipeline itself is to make the system efficient so that we can complete tasks in a very fast way. So my next question to you is, what is the solution to use this pipeline efficiently? You can pause my video here. Try to think of its answer. If you come to know its answer, please write it down in the comment section so that we can discuss it there. Otherwise, I will reveal the new solution which is very very efficient in the upcoming video 
And with this, I'm going to end this episode and I hope that it would be quite informative for all of you. And in future also, we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and your time.